What's happening, Minnesota Viking fans? It's Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports. And on today's show, I'm going to give you five Minnesota Vikings players that I would say are on the roster bubble. And anytime I think of the roster bubble, I, they, these type of guys are right on the fringe of being able to make the 53-man roster. And with the new head coach, we will break down those five players here in just a second. We were having a little bit of a debate at chat sports in terms of some of the all-time greats so in terms of the better vikings wide receiver do you think it's randy moss type rm or do you think it's chris carter type cc my uncle who i don't know if he watches the show he's always said that in his opinion chris carter is the best minnesota vikings receiver of all time because of the longevity because of the route running the hands however my vote would probably go to randy moss because He's one of the most physically dominating players that I have literally ever seen. So RM for Randy Moss or CC for Chris Carter. Unfortunately, well, maybe fortunately, we're not going to be talking about either of these guys today. So the first roster bubble candidate is offensive guard Wyatt Davis. And personally, when Minnesota drafted Davis out of Ohio State, I was like, this guy could actually be an OG, an original gangster, and somebody who you can rely on on that interior offensive line, but we have to face the fact of this. He didn't look good last year, third round pick, hasn't seen the field, and then on top of some of the moves that the Vikings have made this offseason, one of the biggest was drafting Ed Ingram. To me, that was like a light bulb went off my mind. I was like, oh, you know what, Wyatt? Might not be too good for you, homie. So you could cut your losses, release them. That's the difficult conversation because when you look at the tape, to me there is still some upside there in the tape. However, he's battling right now with Jesse Davis. You know Ezra Cleveland's going to be your left guard. Bradbury's on the interior, which, sure, that's not even all that great, if I'm being honest with you. And then Ed Ingram. Like, who's going to be the player that ends up stepping up? I don't have the answer for you, but if you're like, you know what, Wyatt Davis is getting buried and buried and buried on the depth chart, just cut ties, move on. This is what Purple PTSD had to say. The rookie season of Wyatt Davis was underwhelming, to say the least. He was suffering a knee injury when the Vikings drafted him, which hampered him throughout his final season at Ohio State. So the injuries were the one big concern when the Vikings drafted him. That concern was ultimately what derailed him from his rookie campaign in 2021 as he was listed on the injury report from training camp all the way through December. This time, it was an ankle issue that kept him sidelined. It also suspected that he's showing up to training camp out of shape, but that's somebody expected if these lower body injuries impacted him that much. So here's my question to you, and you know what? I'm actually going to make this the pinned comment on today's show. So every single one of y'all that come across this YouTube video, scroll on down and let me know, should they cut Wyatt Davis? Why for yes or and for no? Let's go to the next name here for our Vikings roster bubble candidates, wide receiver Albert Wilson. Personally, I'm a Wilson fan, and when he was down with Miami, he offered some special teams ability. He's a quick, twitchy wide receiver, but that's kind of the issue. And there's a lot of receivers that I would say are talented, but when you look at the overall depth, overall talent that is already on this Minnesota team, where exactly does Wilson fit? Last season, 25 catches, 213 yards, no touchdowns. He didn't play in 2020 because of COVID. He decided to opt out. But in 2019, I actually thought that this guy could be trending in the right direction. Just somebody who you could rely on, pick up a few clutch third downs, be a wide receiver five on a roster. The issue now, and it seems almost since he opted out, injuries have started to become a problem for him. And when you have the amount of talent and the amount of, I'll say, young talent on this Vikings roster, why are you going to hang on to an old veteran? Because at this point, I would rather see what B.C. Johnson can do. Another player coming off a injury we talked about smith marset out of iowa hell he was one of our breakout candidates what about Naylor? james Naylor apparently or yeah Naylor has apparently looking been been looking really good excuse me in minicamp i'm at this point more willing to take a shot on one of those guys instead of taking a shot on somebody else so what do you think here albert wilson or amir smith marset i believe i know where you guys are going to go i'm gonna type i am Sorry, A.W., what's your A.I.M.? Let me know what you guys' uh, A.I.M.s were down in the comments. It's Smith Marset, good player, higher upside, and can be an outside wide receiver. Now, yes, this is our Vikings channel here at Chat Sports, but not only do we do NFL content, college football, 
We also cover the NBA as well. So if you want to see the picks before they show on TV, then I want you to subscribe to our main YouTube channel. Over 300,000 subscribers there. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be wild. Thursday, June 23rd, we're going to be doing the NBA Draft Live. And if you've seen any of our past content for Draft Live with, with the NFL, the NBA gets really, really wild too. So hopefully you guys join it. Hit that subscribe button or you can go to the link below, youtube.com slash Chat Sports TV. Let's go to the next position here. Chaz Surratt, linebacker, and another player entering his second year. And there's definitely a glaring look at when you see some of these players concerning the fact that, well, Chaz and Wyatt drafted in the third round. Doesn't look like that's going to materialize. But I'm not sure exactly where he fits on this depth chart. I'm not sure how he's going to fit with the defense because last season in that regime, Minnesota, to me, added players that I thought felt or fit better in a 4-3. Now, I believe that the new defense you're going to run is going to be a 3-4. What does that mean for Chaz, right? So not only that, you go out, you sign Jordan Hicks, not to a big deal, but it's two years, $10 million. You draft Brian Osamoa, who I thought was a pretty good linebacker coming out of Oklahoma, showed some overall solid talent there. So not only did you bring in a new regime, not only did you sign a veteran, you also drafted somebody it's uh, very, very interesting to see here. And how many linebackers are you going to keep? I don't have the answer to that from top to bottom. But, Jazz, I'm sorry. It's not all that good. And I'll throw this out here. With any of these cut candidates that I bring up, you're also going to see them being listed as a trade candidate because you as a head coach, you as a general manager, if you don't do your due diligence and at least pick up the phone and call someone and say, hey, what do you have interest in Chaz Surratt? Hey, do you have any interest in Wyatt Davis? Hey, do you have interest in this guy? If you don't do that, then you're not doing your job as a general manager. So maybe you're picking up the phone and you're calling on your iPhone or you're calling on your Android. I, I don't know the answer to that, but this has been something that we've talked about at the Chat Sports Studios. The joke is, if you got an Android, you're probably a cop. Uh, what type of phone do you guys have? Type I for iPhone, A for Android. I'm team iPhone. I didn't even realize people still had Androids. If you got a BlackBerry, it's 2022. Get with the program. Just curious for fun. I for iPhone, A for Android. Next name, you might give me a round of applause or maybe just a hand. It's Harrison Hand, cornerback. And the biggest issue for the Vikings, I'll say entering this offseason, minus trying to figure out their offensive line situation, was being able to figure out who's going to be in the secondary. You brought back Patrick Peterson. You drafted Andrew Booth. So now you have somebody like Harrison Hand who had five tackles last season. Good player coming out of Temple, 5'11", 185. And at this point, I, don't even, I, don't, I hate calling guys bad, especially at this time of the year, but he's below average. He's a below average cornerback, and if you don't know exactly where he fits on this team, maybe there's a team out there that decides, you know what, all right, we'll offer up his six-round pick for Hand. Then, to me, you try to make that happen because Peterson's your one. Whether what, depending on what you're going to do with Andrew Booth or Cameron Dancer, not 100% sure there. Jandon Sullivan, somebody you could throw in the nickel, but you already have your top four guys. If you don't think Hand's going to be five or six, then hey, move on. All right, y'all, school fans out there, if you're a big-time Vikings fan and you want more free Minnesota Vikings videos, take a second. Hit the subscribe button. You have absolutely nothing to lose. And I always tell people this. If you watch our chat sports shows and after a week you don't like it anymore, you can unsub doesn't cost you anything, but I believe if you're truly a diehard fan, you're going to learn something. You might not learn something on this video, but I promise you'll learn something on just about every single video. So seriously, hit that subscribe button. The final name, and probably the biggest name on this list, quarterback Kellen Mond. Another third round pick, may I add. The reason why Mond, to me, is a roster bubble candidate is because he's athletic, but that's it to me. And we're already seeing, oh, Kellen looks good here. Kellen looks good there. To me, that's hype's talk. It's hype season. It's the Vikings personally trying to draw up a trade. That's how I would read it. Now, maybe Mon has taken that next step. But he's your quarterback three. I personally believe that Sean Mannion's a better quarterback. I know Kirk Cousins is a better quarterback. And will the Vikings carry three QBs? I anticipate that they will because you need to have a backup and you need to have somebody for you know practice squad as well. But be honest with yourselves. Kellen Mond does not fit what Kevin O'Connell is going to try to do. Kellen Mond doesn't fit this, I don't want to use the word air raid offense because that's not what Minnesota is. But when they need to, they can air it out with all the talented receivers. And I would hate to see 
all the wide receiver talent get wasted away with Calamon. So if you're telling me right now you sell high on a QB, if a team be willing to give you a third, uh, fifth round pick for Mon, to me, I think you would do it. If you can't trade him, then maybe just decide to cut him. So here you go, guys. You tell me. Name a Vikings player that you believe is on the roster bubble that you believe could get cut this offseason.